Hello Internet. Here I have with me is a very rare typewriter actually. It's an IBM personal selector typewriter which um, I believe was made in the 80s. It has elements of the Selectric 3 ribbon, Selectric 3 correcting tape, but it takes Selectric 1 and 2 um, type ball elements and it takes Selectric 2 keys I suppose and this is a custom body. Now this is an electric type bar and it adds a motor to this device which makes it very very heavy. But nonetheless, let's turn it on. Here we have the tabulator shift. Let's look at the shift again. See how the the ball moves to type capital letters. There, there, I activate a shift lock. Here's your margin release. Here you push to select your margins. And here's, it has a return key. Index. Backspace. And the beauty is, you can hold down space by depressing it and it will keep spacing repeatedly. Here is your line spacing. One, two, three. Here is the paper release and the paper release here as well. Here is a mechanism when switched to here, you'll hear the ratcheting noises for your line spacing, and you switch it down here, and the ratchet gear mechanism is removed, and you can freely rotate the platen knob. This can also be achieved by pressing to the left here of the plate knob, by pressing inwards, and you can do the same function. Now let's do a typing test. To insert paper, make sure you release this first and this roller holder as well. Insert your paper, lock the paper in place, roll your paper to into place, lock it in place, or you can also depress and hold the index key until your paper shows up. do a typing test. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the fastest typewriters I can type with since it's not a manual typewriter. When you get to the end of the line, you hear the bell, and the typer will disengage, not allow you to type unless you go to the next line. Some sample sentences are, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now is the time for all good men to help everyone out, and this is a very rare typewriter. To type symbols, press shift. You can type an array, array of these symbols. To type numbers, just type numbers here. And this Selectric typewriter, a very rare one at that, also comes with the correcting feature. Say if you mistyped a letter, you can go back, type the same letter again, and usually your mistake will be stamped out. Unfortunately, the correction ribbon I have is very dry and old and will not work effectively unless I get a new ribbon. 
So this typewriter takes IBM Select 3210 bicycle ribbon. Let's turn this off. To replace the ribbon, just simply lift up. Oh, let's pull that lever there first. There you have it. And here's the inner mechanisms. And to replace the correction ribbon, you need to make sure this red tab is pulled in this way. And this gray tab, you pull this outwards. Actually, you need to put the ribbon back in. Release the red tab. Then you can release the gray tab to replace your correction ribbon. Put that back and put that back as well. Here, you press this plastic button to depress for the option for writing or stencil. I will leave on stencil because it takes types of letters. And that's about it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them. And I have a shout out to Vandenberg Typewriters and Dr. Typewriter, which is also a very nice YouTube channel that showcases a lot of typewriters very unique ones at that but this in my collection is a gem for me that I'll never sell thank you and have a nice day